QuickBooks Online 2021, account numbers, how to turn them on and off. Let's get into it with Intuit, QuickBooks Online 2021. Here we are in our QuickBooks Online account numbers practice file. In the prior presentation, we set up this practice file, took a look at the chart of accounts, which was set up automatically by QuickBooks when setting up the QuickBooks file. We could find that in the chart of accounts tab on the left-hand side. We then have our chart of accounts. Note the default is that we do not have any account numbers to start off with. Account numbers can complicate things, but they also give us a bit more control. So how do we turn those on if we want to be using them? We're going to go to the cog up top, the cog up top. Then we go into the account and settings on the left hand side. We then go down to the advanced tab on the uh, lower left side. We want to turn on the chart of accounts or the account numbers which can be found in the chart of accounts section here. So we have the chart of accounts. We're going to hit the little pencil. If you click anywhere in here, you should be able to uh, go into it. It'll then turn like this light blue. We're then going to enable the account numbers. So enable the account numbers. And then we have the option here to display account numbers on reports and transactions such as sales and expense forms. So I'm going to keep that off for now. We're going to go ahead then and say save. And then I'm going to close this. I'm going to say done. Let's say done down here. It's probably more likely to save the changes if I say done instead of just closing the X out. Now we have our account number field on the left hand side. Now, note that it didn't populate any of the account numbers in the default basically account numbers uh, that were provided to us in the chart of accounts. That's a little bit different than the desktop version where when we first set up the chart of accounts it kind of gives us that default account number. It might be better that it doesn't do that to some degree because you might have different ways that you want to organize the accounts. Although there's kind of like a, a standard set of formats that you might use for the chart of accounts. And it might look something like this. So it might have a chart of accounts that looks something like this. Your goal is to basically set up enough space within the accounts and have the proper groupings in the accounts so that they, so that they make sense so that you can add new accounts when you want to put new accounts in the correct order that you would like to have and then use the account numbers to add control over how you want your financial statements and reports to be displayed as opposed to the account numbers being a detriment. So we'll talk more about kind of a, a theory on, on how you can set your account numbers up. But if you have a small chart of accounts, for example, here we've got um, uh, five digit account numbers. You might only need four digits, uh, account numbers possibly three digits. I wouldn't go any lower than that, right? But four to five would probably uh, be fine. Uh, and then that should give you enough space then to be to be adding the account numbers that you need in a proper format. So in future presentations, we'll go in and we will do that. Note that if I go up top and then uh, edit the account, for example, if I hit the drop down here and say we want to edit, now we have an account number field that wasn't there before. And we could go in through these items and add those account numbers.